Hey there. In this video, we're going to take a close look at the Moda widget and I'm going to be showing you some of its options and ways in which you can configure it. For us to get started, head over to the widget section and I am going to drag a Moda widget into the canvas. And right here, we can see a Moda widget. We can notice that by default, the Moda widget has some built-in widgets. And the first we can see over here is the text widget, which serves as the text title of the entire widget. The next is a close icon, which when clicked dismisses the modal widget. And over here at the bottom, we have two buttons. The first is a cancel button and the other is a confirm button. These are regular button widgets. And as you can see, they can be configured to perform whatever action you want based on your configuration. Heading back to the modal widget properties, we can see that we have quite a few configuration options. The first is the quick dismiss feature. When this is turned on, clicking on the gray area surrounding the model widget would dismiss the model widget. So for example, I'm just going to click on this area and we can see that the model widget is dismissed. Heading back to the model widget, we have the model type configuration and this helps us specify how much real estate we want available within the model widget. So for example, setting it to the form model type we can see that we have so much more space and then going back to the alert model type, we have a much um, compact form factor. Lastly, we have the scroll content and setting this to be true makes the model widget scrollable. Heading back to the canvas, we can see that the model widget is not shown by default. This is because the model widget is designed to be shown when an action occurs, such as clicking on a button or selecting items. So to show you how to configure triggering a model widget, I am going to um, bring a button into the canvas. I'm going to make the button a little bit big and I'll set the label of this button to be open model. For the action, the on-click action, I am going to specify that I want a model to be open. And for the model name, I would select the model we have configured. So clicking on this button would actually trigger and open the model. And I'm just going to demonstrate that by clicking on the button. So clicking on the button actually opens the model up. So this has been the model widget, and I hope you found this video helpful.